Hello, welcome to Right Now Jesus. We are here in Trinidad and Tobago. The World Cricket Championship is taking place here in Trinidad and Tobago. And many cricketers all over the world are trooping in here in Trinidad and Tobago. We arrived a couple of days ago and we are looking forward to ministering among them and in the church, the Open Bible Church that invited us over here. Just sit back and see the powerful hand of God at work. God demonstrating his love in diverse ways among his people. And I'll catch up with you later. See you then. The islands of Trinidad and Tobago are the most southern in the Caribbean chain of islands. Trinidad was part of South America until the last ice age. Trinidad is separated from Venezuela by the Gulf of Paria. The highest point on the islands is El Cerro del Aripo in Trinidad. Pitch Lake on the island of Trinidad is the world's largest natural reservoir of asphalt. We will be visiting it later in the series. The natural phenomenon of mud volcanoes occurs in and around Trinidad and Tobago. In 1997, a mud volcano erupted in the village of Paparo, with mud flying up to 150 feet. Before the arrival of the Spanish, the Carib people called Trinidad the land of the hummingbird. Christopher Columbus named Trinidad the Trinity after the three peaks in the southeast of the island. The coat of arms of Trinidad and Tobago includes Columbus ships on his voyages of discovery to the New World. The ships were Nina, the Pinta and the Santa Maria. I was in uh, Holland. My wife and I and one of the lady we were on the train and a gentleman seized by us. He had ears, earphones. And I said, I have some good news for you. Take the thing out of the ears. What is it? I said, Jesus loves you. Oh, I love him too. He's my master. He's one of my masters. Even Delilah Lama, you know Delilah Lama, he started talking about other masters. I said, oh dear Lord, help me. Who is this one too? Pastor Kwame, I didn't know what to do. I said, Holy Spirit, tell me something. So he was talking to my wife and the other sister. All of a sudden I said, sir, you have stomachache, but you've just been healed. And his lower jaw dropped. I said, you have pain in your stomach? He said, yes. He's the pain there. He said, no. When we stopped, we coming off the train. He joined us. Remember, he's been talking of other masters. But I serve the master of all masters. And his name is what? His name is what? Oh, scream, shout his name. His name is what? His name is what? The same yesterday, today, and what? Forever. And we told him, I'm meeting some, I'm doing a meeting on Sunday. This was Friday. We showed, gave him the address. When we got there, he came down riding a Porsche. You know that supercar, convertible. And was looking to the, for the place when we arrived. He didn't come by the door, he jumped. So we went to the meeting. And I was telling everybody, I met this man on the train. He was healed. I said, you still have your healing? He said, no, he's come back. I said, now you need Jesus in your body. When Jesus comes in, nothing can come back. He stood. He's, he's, a, he's a Dutch, an European. He stood up, gave his life to Jesus. Hallelujah. We're talking of power is in your hand. So receive your healing. Lift your right hand up. 
I stand on your behalf and I, I confess the sins of your ancestors, the sins of your generation, and even your own personal sins. And I ask Jesus for forgiveness. For the Bible says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Devil, you have nothing against me, against my ancestors. Back off, you saga. This belongs to me because of what Jesus has done. I receive all my healing now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Do what you are not able to do. Begin to check it. What is happening? Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Depression. Come on. For how long have you had this? Hmm? Over 20 years. We were in India. I called people with depression. And a lady comes up with a two-year-old boy. We prayed this very prayer. We prayed. And I said, if something has happened to you, come up. She comes up with a baby. And he says, I'm a medical doctor. My husband is a medical doctor. This boy was born, since he was born, he's never made a sound. Not even talking. A sound in his life. So we've all organized suicide. And this weekend, we're all going to die. Including my mother-in-law, including my mother, my father. Because our baby is a disgrace. And we, we can't stand the embarrassment any longer. But when we pray this prayer, the baby started talking. He didn't make noise. He started talking on the spot. Praise the Lord. The work Jesus did at Calvary, it's real. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, how are you feeling now? You're feeling good? Huh? I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. You feel the only power of the Holy Spirit? Then put a smile. Quarter past nine, okay? Okay, we seal this healing and we say condition. Don't come back anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. Could, would you like to have me? Okay. Then drop your hands. Okay. You can go and sit down. Okay. Those of you here, keep checking your body. Has anything happened? What about you, sister? What's wrong with you? April, I fell on a flight of stairs and um, I prayed about it. There were times when it was burning me, my left side was burning me so badly I didn't know what to do. I went to work with it and... Um, is it still there now? No, it is not there. There was a dull pain for months but um, tonight it's not there. I kept checking and I find it, it feels good. You know, it's not there. You know, I really feel good. And I was asking you to come up, you, you're shy. Yes. Okay. We seal this healing. Yes, we seal this healing. We say pain. pain. Don't come back anymore. Come back anymore. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We'd like to talk to you after the meeting. Yes, but I would also like okay. to say that um, tonight I'm claiming healing from diabetes because I've had it since 1990 and I've been struggling with it. And um, I believe that God is going to heal me completely of diabetes. So I'm claiming it tonight. Okay, Monday, go and check your sugar level, okay? Go and check your sugar level and, and come over on Monday evening with a, with a uh, doctor's certificate. In India, somebody with diabetes for 52 years. 52 years. We prayed this prayer and he went to check. Anybody with diabetes here? Okay. What faith is action? So go to the, to the hospital. Let them check your sugar level. Come, let me shake your hand. Thank you, Jesus, for this miracle. Amen. You have a problem with your eyes too? Is it burning you? 
Is it still burning you now? Is it still burning you? Come, come up here. Is no more burning you? No. When did that happen? Just now. Because I'm done reading. I've only been ready for 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm on the evil time. Read anymore. So I have difficulty reading the Bible and so on. Because of the eye problem. And as a result of the diabetes and, and weakening of the eyes and so on. Okay. So go and check. The eyes are no longer burning. And it's going to get better and better. So come on Monday with your certificate. Okay. We seal this healing. And we say condition. Don't come back anymore. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. We prayed with you. What about you sir? Walk up to me. Don't be afraid. What's wrong with you sir? problem I have a brain problem and a brain damage a couple of years back so I lose I lose my memories a lot but suddenly my mem mem memories just came back to me we release that to you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus can you come back on Sunday and tell us what has happened to you. Okay. We seal this healing. We say condition. Don't come back anymore. Amen. Now the Lord showed me that. Somebody with fibroid. The fibroid was broken. And when you go home. When you go home. You see sign. Of what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. You have pain in your lower abdomen and you've just been healed. So check it and let me know. Are you here tonight? Check it. Is the pain there? Come up, darling. Don't be shy. Hmm? God bless you. Darling, uh, for how long have you had this condition? Two years. Two years. And tonight the pain is gone. Touch it, let's see. You don't feel anything? Folks, she's crying. Put your hands together. Isn't Jesus beautiful? He's touching everybody tonight. We seal this healing. We say pain. Don't come back anymore. Amen. Who else with the lower abdomen? Who else? And the Lord showed me that someone who could not retain water. You just pass water and recently you've even seen blood. And the doctors have told you, we've done our bit. We can't we can help any longer. If you are that somebody, receive your healing. Receive your miracle right now. Receive your miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. Now you can go and sit down. Will you say, will you come? What's wrong with you? Yeah. My toes. I am a diabetic. Okay. I had a pain here a couple of months ago, but Pastor prayed for me and healed me 100%. Amen. So I don't have this pain anymore. Amen. Amen. Are they hurting you now? Yes. Check again whether they are hurting you. Yes, yes. This belongs to you, sir. Because of what Jesus has done, receive all your healing. Now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Check it. Huh? It's still there. It's still there. You see, you don't have to help me because the power is not mine. Praise the Lord. So tell me how you do, you feeling. Check again. Would you want to take a walk around? Just take a walk around, okay? Who, who else? Darling, come over. 
What's wrong with you? What happened is I'm recovering from chemo. Okay. But all the pain left. Tonight? Yes, it left. All the bones were hurting at the back. And Are you hearing what she's saying? Say that again. Um, yeah, I, after finishing treatment from chemo, the whole body was aching. But when I came with my friends, all my fingers, and I didn't see anything about the pain. But all the back and the legs and the fingers, the, no pain. She's having treatment for cancer, and she came in, all the pains have left her body. Will you stretch your hands over here? We seal this healing. When we command in the name of Jesus, there shall, no, there shall be no remission. There shall be no remission. There shall be no remission. We declare her healed because of what Jesus has done. And we seal this healing. In the name of Jesus. Oh, will somebody shout, shout. Give Jesus a shout. Oh, is that all, all you can do? Oh, God bless you. And take a seat. We'd like to speak to you. What has happened here? Good night, everyone. My name is Kisha. Um, for the past three years, I couldn't pray. My heart was so heavy. And, you know, every time I pray, something always distract me and saying, and now tonight I get healed, and I've been thankful to Jesus for that. We seal your healing, and we say pain, don't come back anymore in the name of Jesus. What about you, sir? What's wrong with you? And your knee? Both knees or what? Can you kneel? It's gone. Tell them what has happened to you. Well, I had pain in my knee and now the pain is gone. How long have you had this? For some months now. Huh? Some months now. Some months, one yeah. month, two months. Three months. Three months. Three months. And the knee. Oh, Jesus is one. Oh, stretch your hands again. We seal this in, And we say knee pain. Don't come back anymore. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What have we got here, darling? Come over. Keep checking your body because it is happening. What's wrong with you, darling? Um, what happened? My ankles get swollen when I sit for long periods. Okay. The doctor said that I was retaining water. So every time it gets swollen, so I keep taking tablets and to excrete the water and that kind of thing. Are you in pain? Not right now. Not right now. No. But you've been in pain for how long? For more than six years. For more than six years, she's had pain in the ankle, but there's no pain now. You want to walk around? Oh, I didn't say glide. I say walk. You know, ladies glide, don't they? They go like that and like that. But I say walk. She's still gliding. Oh, dear me. <laughs> okay, will you go down the stairs and come back? Are you in pain? Come up again. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. And then go back again. <laughs> Wait. We seal this healing. We say condition. Don't come back. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you are here, you don't know Jesus as your personal savior. This is the time. You can ask Jesus to come in. If you are not somebody, you are not a Christian, Jesus wants to come into your heart. Would you please stand? Brother, sorry. What is it? Yeah, I have a problem uh, where um, buttons breaking out all over my skin and the doctor said it's stress related. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe today that Jesus has healed this condition totally. Does it give you some you. pains or something? No, 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 no pain. It's just, um, you know, and buttons coming out all over. Okay. We inject the blood of Jesus into your blood. And we attack anything that is bringing this about in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle now. Thank you. Seal your healing. Excuse me, sir. 
What do we have here, sir? I'm a diabetic for the past 11 years. Okay. And um, still having little problems controlling it. You spirit of infirmity, in the name of Jesus, I cast you out right now. And I release the healing from the master Jesus. Receive your healing. Amen. Now, go and check. Go to the hospital and check. And we need to know on, on Monday. We'll be here on Monday. Okay. Can you hold your hands together? Just link up with someone. Master Jesus, this is your heartbeat. This is your heart cry. Because you came to destroy the works of the evil one. Oh, you came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. They've responded to your love. They've responded to your call. And Lord, we deepen all of them in the blood of Jesus. Oh, that if they have any situations, any conditions, you receive releasing life. Receive life. Receive life. The life of Jesus. The life of Jesus. We release grace that you grow in your Christian life. You will grow without difficulties. You will lean on Jesus at all times. This grace will lead you all the way home. And Lord, we command the blood of Jesus, the bloodline over all of you over all of you if there will be any influence from any party in the name of jesus we destroy those influences oh that you'll be hooked onto jesus you'll be hooked onto jesus and even as you go into the water even as you go into the water it's a symbol but to you it's going to be an experience an experience you'll never forget thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. And we command every accident planned for any life here. We break that. We break that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we say, receive grace from Jesus. Receive the full love. May he grant you the grace to embrace the love of the Father all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus we pray and all said together, Amen. 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 Now we come to this young lady. What has happened to you? Stand here and speak. I have a pain and a gland. By my neck. And what happened? Um, and my daddy had it and I have it now. So you've just been healed. The pain is no more. She had a granular pains just at the back of your ears. There. And Sister Sophie prays with her. She's been healed. We seal this healing. We say pain. Don't come back anymore. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister, come, come here. What's wrong with you? Oh, your husband. He's sick. I said, what's wrong with you? Come, come. I've had uh, pains in my knees for a number of years. Yes. In there, I keep checking my body as you said, and the pain is not there. Not there. Did, you, did you hear that? When was the last time you knelt down like this? Can't tell you, it's a long time I haven't done that. Jesus has just come through for him. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. I like the joy in your face, amen. We seal this healing. 
and we say pain don't come back anymore in the name of Jesus amen well done what about you darling lower back check whether the pain is there bend over is it there okay bend over once more Are you in pain? It's gone. Come up. How long have you had this? Well, three years. Three years. Lean backwards, let's see. No, no, lean backwards. Are you in pain? It's gone. Oh, praise the Lord. We seal this healing and we say pain. Don't come back anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I'm hoping that I'll have... Oh, you can, you can go to your seat now. We will show you how to stop somebody in the street and minister healing. And you realize that it's not hard, it's not difficult. We will show you that. And what I have been doing, your lifestyle will become that of miracles. When you go out and you can tell somebody in the public, even a Christian, Jesus loves you. The courage, the faith you renew in them, they want us to do that. I have a cap with the inscription, Jesus is my boss. I wore this on the plane, anywhere I wear it. It's brought me all kinds of trouble. But I see beautiful people touched. Because I would say Jesus anywhere. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're talking of exciting things. Exciting things to the body of Christ. And you're going to be one of us. Praise the Lord. Amen. You saw the love of God demonstrated by miracles, signs and wonders amongst his people. Wasn't that great? God's love is still here with you. And even as you watched, check your body, check your situation again, and I can assure you something has happened to you. We'll catch up with you again next time, same place, same time. See you. Are you sick and worried? Do you require divine healing? Yes? Then this book is a must read. The Word of God is loaded with promises about the healing power of God. Like medications, you need to take enough until you're totally and completely healed. Healing is easy, it's based on God's promises. Pastor Sam Larby has traveled the world with this message and his ministry is characterized by healing signs and wonders. This book will open the door to your healing because of what Jesus has done.